Imagine the following situation. You're a child. Your father is someone you trust and you live peacefully for a while and then suddenly there come a couple of men who forcefully abduct your father. They come in and drag him out. There's a fight. They're screaming. And then he's gone. And then people tell you, well, your father, he was a very evil man. How do you know whether that's true? Of course, they will tell you, they will give you reasons. They will tell you stories. They, will, might, they might say, your father was a criminal. He robbed other people or he betrayed other people. He did things that weren't right. But how do you know? It could equally be the case that these people who apprehended your father are evil, that they're robbers, that they're perpetrators. It could be that they stole from your father. That could equally be true, right? So how do you know? That question is the root of objectivism. Because it says basically, it doesn't matter whether you have good intentions. And it doesn't matter whether or not you are aggressive or non-aggressive. The only thing that really matters is whether you know what's going on. Only then you can be moral. Morality doesn't rest on goodwill and it doesn't rest on being peaceful. It rests on knowledge, and knowledge rests on reason. And to that, you might have the counter-argument that this isn't really realistic, as an example, because we're not children. We know what's going on, except we don't. You probably heard people saying that there are more and more nutcases out there, more and more extremists. People have extreme opinions, and that is so bad because there are no moderates anymore. But what this really means is that there are no conformists anymore, that there is no agreement on a single ideology anymore. Clearly, that can't in itself be a bad thing, right? One would hope that the bad thing is that people believe in wrong things rather than that they don't merely agree with the mainstream. One would hope that. And there's less and less agreement. And in a world where there's less and less agreement, where there are all sorts of conspiracy theories, the analogy to the child whose father was apprehended and who has to figure out who's the bad guy in the story becomes very personal and very realistic, because it is in your own best interest, of course, to figure out which of all the crazy stories is right. And this is an epistemological problem, which is the theory of knowledge. You have to make a systematic effort in order to learn what's true for yourself. That is the core of objectivism. It says that it doesn't matter where you have good intentions. It doesn't matter where you're not aggressive. The only thing that matters is whether you figured what's true. As long as you don't figure that, every act you do that harms another human being could be aggression rather than defense. And you will never know because you have no clue what's going on. It means that everything you do to someone else out of good intentions can hurt the man because you have no clue what's going on. That's what objectivism is about. It's not primarily about capitalism. 
but egoism, but not even primarily about egoism, but reason. Forget the other stuff. Start with reason and do it for yourself. At some point, you will arrive at the same conclusions as others because there's only one reality. And if you do your job properly, systematically, if you don't fool yourself, then you have to arrive necessarily at the same conclusions as others.